So a company called Oozenest asked me if I'd like to borrow a 3D printer and I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to see how long it would take me to learn how to use it and print off something cool. This is day one, hour zero. If you follow this channel, you might be aware that I actually have a degree in engineering, but I have never used CAD to produce a real life model. Nothing I've ever made on the computer has ever been reproduced in real life in any form. So all I want for the milestone for this one is to just make something in CAD that I can print and is actually useful. All right, I need some CAD software. Best CAD software. One. <laughs> 1,000. Best free CAD. Onshape is the one to try for free CAD software. Let's learn Onshape. I'm gonna learn how to use this CAD software that I've never used before by using these videos. So uh, yeah, this is just me um, watching videos for a while. Last night I watched a couple of videos made by Onshape about their CAD software and I gotta say it's pretty easy and intuitive to understand. The fundamentals of drawing in any CAD software are basically all the same. First you make a sketch in two dimensions. You can extrude the sketch and you can project that sketch in three dimensions. The basic premise is sketch in 2D and extrude into 3D and you can remove material in the same way. I've had an idea for the first part that I want to try and print. A while back I got this um, gimbal and this gimbal is for a smartphone. It fits in there and it stabilizes your shots. But I think if I made an adapter for the GoPro, I could make it fit in there because basically the GoPro is too small. All I need is a housing for the GoPro and it'll fit in there quite nicely. So after getting to grips with Onshape, I went ahead and created a super simple part for housing the GoPro. It's basically just an extruded rectangle with a cutout and some corners to hold it in place. I mocked up a model GoPro on Onshape and made an assembly to check it would all fit together. This is all really basic stuff and anyone could learn this very quickly. Alright, that's me drawing my first uh, part that I'm going to print. So all I need to do now is save the CAD model to an SD card and then plug it into the printer and just hit print. And apparently it should just come out um, like that. So after removing the brim off the part, I quickly realised that by using the exact dimensions of the GoPro, that it would be too tight to fit in the housing. I tried sanding it down before realising that I could just add some clearance and print it off again. And hey presto, it works perfectly. I went ahead and printed off a bunch more stuff too and learned a few things. Bigger is better, small details are pretty difficult to print. Orientation of the part also matters, I should have printed this piece flat rather than upright, that would prevent all the letters merging together. When printing this Xbox stand I realised that overhangs will fail unless you add supports in the print software. Check out this totes adorbs Pandora charm I made for my mum, those things are a total rip off anyway. I'm really really happy that I've learned how to make something super simple that is actually useful to me. Now it's time to make something a little bit more explosive. Uh, kinda looks like a Oh nice, it's finished. Oh my god, that looks sick.
There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry in the cup, my tea. I can't believe that. I can take All right, the water's pretty shallow, so I think we can get it. Look, there's the nose cord. Make it easy. Yes. The other piece of my heart. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry and to cut my tea. I can take what I need to get by. This episode of Learn Quick is proudly sponsored by Audible. If you've never listened to audiobooks before, trust me, give it a go. It can make mundane tasks like commuting and traveling and doing the washing up so much more interesting. This week, while waiting for this to print, I was listening to Kim Stanley Robinson's Red Mars, the first in a trilogy all about the colonization of Mars. The attention to detail and the storyline is absolutely captivating. Highly recommended. Right now, Audible is offering viewers of the channel a free 30-day trial, which includes an audiobook of your choice, and there are tens of thousands to choose from. Just go to audible.com forward slash Mike Boyd to get started. That lets Audible know you came from here, which helps out the channel. So that's audible.com forward slash Mike Boyd to get a 30-day free trial, which includes a free audiobook. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Learn Quick.